atheists and atheism is on the rise and you might be a Christian, you might be a, a, a babe in Christ and you want to know how to handle an atheist. An atheist saying, show me, give me evidence that there is a God. And you know what to do. You're back up against the wall. You're confused. You, you've been doubted about the God that you serve. Ten things to do how to handle an atheist person. Ten things, my friend. I'm gone. These ten things are things that I have handled an atheist on my job. Glory to God in my home, in a community, at a library, at a grocery store. My friend, these people are like wolves. These people are like venomous snakes in the community. Hey, glory to God. So 10 things to do how to handle an atheist person. And number one, stick to the Bible when you are dealing with them. Stick to the Bible. Stick to the Holy Scripture. Number two, look at science as being taught in school, and that's it. Hallelujah. Number three, draw them closer to the scripture to change their heart. Let the word of God change their heart, not you. Number four, while you are talking to them in your heart, you are saying a prayer. So, glory to God, for them because they are in darkness. Remember, atheist is in darkness, and the word of God is the light. Fifth thing you must do, present the Savior to them. Hey, glory to God. Now, this is 10S now. The first thing I say, stick to the Bible. Number two, look at science as being taught at school. Number two, draw them close to the scripture. Number four, while you're talking to them in your heart, you are saying a prayer for them because they are in darkness. Number fifth thing you must do, glory to God, present the Savior to them, which is Jesus Christ's death on the cross of Calvary. Hey, glory to God. If you can get the subject on the cross, it can cross the confusion and they will see the reason why Christianity or Christian or Christian is because of the cross. When the men heard Peter preaching, it pricked their heart and said, men and brethren, what shall we do? And Peter said, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for remission of your sin, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. So the word of God pricked their heart. Hey, glory to God. Number six, they looking at things through the carnal eyes, which only see temporal. We are made of body, soul, and and spirit. They're looking at the carnal eye. The carnal eye can't see beyond. It's on a spirit. Let it just see the beyond. Seventh thing you must do, let your argument be filled with the spirit of God and not the power or by might, but by the spirit, say the Lord. That's, that's in the book of Hallelujah, Zechariah. Hallelujah. Number eight thing you must do, glory to God. Let your argument be filled with the spirit of God, not the power or might, but by my spirit, say the Lord. Number eight thing, don't let them make you sin against God by getting angry. The Bible said, be angry, but sin not. Don't let them make you so mad. Be glad. Hallelujah. Because the Bible say, always be ready. To give a hope that lies within you with gentleness and respect, my friend. If you don't, if you don't know, if you don't know the answer, say that I will come back with the answer and I will tell you. You can be their friend. I got friends as atheists. <laughs> Hallelujah. I, yes, I have friends who are atheists because I want to have a friendship so I can draw them closer to Jesus Christ. Hey, glory to God. Now, I'm not being their friend because I'm going to places with them that's ungodly. But I'm trying to be their friend so they can draw closer to my Savior. My Savior is Jesus Christ. Number nine thing. What you must... Ten things to do how to handle an atheist person. Hallelujah. Number nine. Be simple, but be logical. With your answer about the creator. In John chapter 1 verse 3. The Bible said all things were made by him. The creator with Jesus Christ. And, and also the heaven declare the glory of God. The creation. And in him we live and move and have our being. The creatures. 
So if you can be simple and logical talking to these cats, hey, go, know what I call them? I call them cats, alley cats. Hey, glory to God. My friend, don't let them get you so angry that you sin against God. No, don't get angry because remember, they are in darkness. And when you're in darkness, you can't see. But we are in the glorious light, the light that shines in darkness. The Bible says men love darkness rather than light, that they may believe the glorious gospel to save them. Amen. Hallelujah. We, we have the mystery. Hey, glory to God. We have the truth because we are free. A happy people, glory to God, is a free people. I'm happy because I'm free. I remember years ago, I wasn't as happy as I am right now. Freedom make you happy. Look at a person that's been locked in for so long. When they are free, they're happy. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. And the tenth thing you must do, we always want to present salvation to them through the story of our life experience with how God gave us from darkness to this marvelous light. Amen. We must always present salvation. It's not about me. Hey, glory to God. Life, journey, glory, church, it's not about me. It's about the Savior that can save somebody. Yes, it's about a Savior that can save somebody. That's the purpose for life, journey, glory, church. So how to deal with an atheist? You must do what? You must stick to the Bible. Amen. Let them look at signs. Look at signs for a moment. Draw them closer to the scripture. While talking to them, say a prayer. Present the Savior to them, which is Jesus Christ, on the death of the cross. Number six, look to let me look through the, the spiritual eye, not at the carnal eye, because we are made of body, soul, and spirit. And let your argument be filled with the Spirit of God, not of power, nor by might, but by the Spirit. If you do those ten things, my friend, you can win the heart of an atheist.